Hello and welcome back to Cutleaf. So in today's video, I just wanted to show you a very quick and simple, effective tutorial for the DJI Mini 2 RAW images. So we're gonna be upscaling the images from 12 megapixels to 48 megapixels using Photoshop's fairly new um, update. I've been using it for a while now and I've been meaning to make this video, but I just haven't had time. So yeah, it's a very quick tutorial. I'm gonna shut up and I'm just gonna jump straight into it. So let's get started. Okay, so I've already organized my images. As you can see, I've got the raw DNG files open here. So with this shot, I uh, auto bracketed the images to get the highlights and shadows more, to have more to play with and have more of a HDR shot. So what I'm gonna do is just right click each one, open with uh, Photoshop 2021. You wanna make sure you've got Photoshop 2021. So once the image opens up, it'll come to the camera raw 13.2. Now what you wanna do is right click the image and then you wanna click enhance. So what's happening is Photoshop's using its artificial intelligence to upscale the image and fill those gaps. And as you can see, it's done a really good job. So that's before without the enhance and then that's with the enhance. Now let's go to another part of the image. Let's go down to here. So that's without enhance, that's with. Um, enhance you can see it does crispen the image slightly more um, which is really clever anyway what you want to do is you want to go ahead uh, make sure super resolution is checked and then just click enhance and then just allow it to do its magic there you go so once that's done you can see the bottom left image there is the original so it's 8 bit 4 by 3000 12 megapixels of 300 ppi we click the right image then we get 8 by 6048 megapixels um, and believe me as we've just seen there is a difference with this so you want to go ahead and just click done and you can see it comes up in the same folder just saying enhanced underneath and it's still a dng file um, so what you want to do is just repeat the same process for the other two images okay so once all three images have been enhanced before we add them into lightroom we're going to do something first so because the images are now at 48 megapixels and a much larger file size, it means that if you've got a slow computer like me, it will be a nightmare editing. So what we're going to do now is insert the original 12 megapixel images into Lightroom. Let's just go there, insert those green tags. So yeah, we're going to insert those and I'll tell you why. So if you do have a slow computer and it will slow your computer right down when it comes to editing. What we can do is just insert the original 12 megapixel files and then insert the enhanced images after and then just copy and paste the edit settings from the 12 megapixel to the 48 megapixel so you get it done in half the time. Um, so yeah, go ahead and let's merge the 12 megapixel images. Not done a bad job. Let's just deghost it because obviously it's a moving boat and we don't want any distortion in the image. Not bad, and then let's see what the auto settings looks like as well. See if anything we can happen there. Um, yeah, I can play with that, that's fine. I don't mind the auto settings on that. So let's just go ahead and click merge. Wait for Lightroom to do its magic. Okay, so there's our merged 12 megapixel image. Let's just crop that in how we like, and let's go for Instagram's 4x5. Just center it a little bit and rotate it. There we go, happy with that. And now um, I'm just gonna time lapse this bit because you've seen my previous video about how I edit Instagram bangers. Um, See, so I'm just gonna time lapse this bit and then I'll show you how we'll do uh, the copy and paste settings afterwards. See you in a sec. Okay, so there's a very quick and rough edit of the image um, with 12 megapixel file. So we're gonna go ahead and click add photos again, hit browse, and then we're gonna insert the enhanced files. So let's review for import and add those in. Now again, what we wanna do is go ahead and just do exactly like we did last time with the merging. So click HDR merge, make sure auto settings is applied and also make sure we de-ghost the image. Looks good to me, go ahead and click merge. It will take a little bit longer just because of the file size. That's what I was mentioning, why we edit the 12 megapixel first and then the 48 after, just copy and paste in the uh, exact same settings. Okay, so once we've merged the 48 megapixel images together, as you can see here, we're gonna 
go on to the 12 megapixel image there which has all the edit done to it we're going to simply click photo then we're going to go on choose edit settings to copy we're going to make sure that tools and geometry is selected as well as the others go ahead and click copy go on to the 48 megapixel photo click photo paste edit settings what that will do is then copy everything from that 12 megapixel photo to the 48 megapixel one then we're going to go onto the crop flip it round hit enter and boom there you go uh, all of the um, edit settings from the 12 megapixel have gone onto the 48 just saving you a lot of time because of the file size and how long it would have taken you to edit it if you don't have a, a fast computer so yeah uh, i'm really happy with that let's just zoom in to see the difference uh, of the image so let's get close in on the bm77 there with all the bird poo around it there you go and there you go so you can see a substantial difference there by upscaling your image with the photoshop update so that's the bm77 with the 12 megapixel and that's with the upscale i'll put a side by side image once i export the images anyway but for now if you want to make any additional edits to the 48 megapixel one just go ahead and take it into photoshop by clicking edit in photoshop this will slow your computer down um that's why i like to do as much of the edit i can in lightroom and then just a few minor adjustments in photoshop afterwards so once my image is open in photoshop i just like to make those adjustments as i would with my other photos as well so just go ahead click command j and then I'm just gonna look around the image to see if there's anything that I don't like that I can get rid of. And then once you've done your edit in Photoshop, you can, if you like, upscale it even more by going to image size. We're already at 5625 by 7031. We can change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Go ahead and click OK. Like I said, this would be for a print, so you want that uh, as much quality as you can get from the bird's eye view images. And then when we're finished, go ahead, click File, Export, Export As, and save it as a JPEG file. Okay, so the screen decided to stop recording, but I just exported the image. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just pop up some images on the screen to show you um, the difference in quality by using the upscale v the 12 megapixel original file. And I'm gonna do some close-ups and zoom-ins and just to get show you basically um, how effective this tool is. The file size was 37 megabytes, ooh, um, but is it worth it? I think so. For the bird's eye, if you want to print large, if you want that quality in the image, um, then it's definitely worth the time and effort to do. But yeah, I'll just pop the images up now so you can uh, have a look. So yeah, that's my tutorial for upscaling your images from 12 megapixels to 48 megapixels. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and I hope it's something you can apply to your own work. Uh, if you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up hit the sub button below as usual. And uh, if there's anything else you wanna see, please put it in the comment section below and I will be sure to try my best um, to get it out there for you to help. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the sub button, turn your notifications on and I'll see you next time for another video. See you then.